actually legal. I'm going to rewind it to the start. Uh, plenty of experience on that Manchester City bench as well, especially uh, as a football around the globe. Okay, and when, when we start talking about our back four, and again, these are just highlights, right? So when we start, there's going to be certain things that we're going to be able to see. It's Manchester United who get us off and underway there. In the red and black. We're going to talk about the back four. We're going to talk about this a lot. And just notice that these are the, this is the Man United back four. And you're going to see this a lot where the two center backs are at one level and the two wide backs are at another level. When red has the ball, when they're trying to build out of the back, you're going to see this kind of trapezoid shape quite a bit. So I'm just bringing it up here so that you know what I'm talking about when you see it later. Later, And again, for Bean, Money, Trip, uh, girls that kind of play in that holding defensive midfielder position, Sienna, um, this is exactly where we want you. Finding, sitting in little pockets uh, in between, trying to find space, trying to find little windows. And by the way, when I'm talking to Bean, for example, you're all should be listening, right? Because again, you never know when you're going to be in that position and what you can learn just because I'm not talking to you directly doesn't mean you're not going to be able to learn. Okay. And this is, this is the shape again, that especially when the goalkeeper gets the ball, you're going to see again, you have your two and your two. Those are the four defenders. Keepers got the ball and they play their keeper a lot. That's why whoever plays goalkeeper for us, we want to make sure that you can also play in the field, but this is that, this is that trapezoid shape again with the wide backs wide and pushed up the field. Pandemic, but they have met in three different occasions over the last couple of years. Caroline Weir got the Manchester City League winner last season. Really good ball over the top. Indeed, she scored in the 4 2 win at West Ham United. Apparently, they're the best run. And this is going to happen a lot too. And you heard me say it when we try to play out of the back like Manchester City is going to do here. When we try to play out of the back, a lot, a lot of times our midfielders are going to find themselves facing away from the goal that we're going. And this is dangerous to play, but there's going to be, there's going to be mistakes. Okay. And we're going to lose possession and that's okay. This is at a professional level where they lose possession. Well out by the keeper. Who said that? My, me, Gwen. Gwenny, okay. It was perfect, like, just a second ago. But, like, it just, like, stops. Like, it, like, then it's, like, blurry. Okay. And again, no, that's going to be internet issues, so just bear with us, and you'll be able to see the recording better. Okay? Well, for me, you, when you pause it the second time, it just like pause like it was paused and then it fast forwarded like really fast yeah same. Like, that means that means your internet's catching up all right okay. so yeah, again. it looks clear now that e now it looks clear again okay now that is paused we'll, we'll we'll continue to just fight through it okay again running right at the defender we haven't talked about ind individual defending a lot Okay, but if you as you as you watch this play develop, I'm gonna switch this to yellow so you can see it. Watch this central defender. Okay, as you watch, their team's gonna lose possession of the ball, but watch that central defender. She's moving backwards, right? And she's gonna be moving backwards this way as this attacker comes running at her, and she's trying to delay. All right, she, if she if she steps up, if she steps up here and gets beat then Manchester United is on to goal for sure with, with no, no one there to, to help or defend. This defender's retreating, trying to slow this dribbler down so that her teammates have time to recover and get back. That's, that's the whole point. She doesn't want to get beat. She's jockeying. She's jockeying. She's always ready. And I say this to the defenders quite a bit. You have to always be ready to beat the attacker to the space behind you. You have to be ready to beat the defender or beat the, beat the attacker that's dribbling to the space behind you. Does a good job. Wide backs have tucked in. Keeper makes a brave play to come out. And anytime we can get the ball in her hands and press is fast, she's a U.S. national team player. Great shot from distance. Not too much trouble. 
Kelly operating on that right-hand side for Manchester City to take on Leah Galton. The left-back will be interesting. Galton uh, often operates higher up the pitch. Now Looks like Tobin Heath. I'm not sure if that's Heath or not. Okay, good quick shot. Again, yeah, she, that is Heath. Okay, so Heath's playing the left forward now. Again, and watch. The, and both Heath and Press, U.S. national team players right here, okay, both of them are fast. All right, and look how forward, look when when Heath gets the ball passed here, out wide, and she's going to start dribbling. All right, watch what Press does and how fast she works to get dangerous. She doesn't watch Tobin. Ball went wide. Look, her head's to the middle. She's she's just trying to get in a dangerous position. And again, if you notice what Tobin did, is again, she received the ball, and I'll, I'll play this through. She received the ball out wide, but as she gets the ball out wide, then she's going to start trying to attack into goal. Now she's now she's going to come in. She's coming into goal, trying to make something happen. Two quick touches inside of the foot, decent shot. Again, two center backs and two wide backs. Giveaway by the keeper. It's going to happen. One thing I want to see here is an. Watch, she's gonna the Manchester City, and again, I don't know their I don't know their names, but she's gonna receive the ball and watch her first or second touch. That touch right there, probably six or seven yards ahead of her because she's got no defenders on her, allowing her to sprint and not have to worry about touching the ball. She can get her head up, see what's going on. Mark. Yes. Um, I'm, my video is completely frozen, so I'm going to try leaving and then coming back. Um, that sounds fine. Yep, yeah. that sounds fine. Okay. What a touch. Little flick attempted there by Kelly. Comes back to the captain, Horton. Loose inside the penalty. Yeah, Kelly scores. Okay, first goal. Again, how, how many, a lot of these goals that you're going to see are going to come off set pieces. And we talk about the importance of the set pieces. Again, corner kicks whipped in. And when the ball goes, gets headed out, all Manchester City is trying to do is keep the ball alive, trying to keep the ball in the danger area, head the ball back in the danger area. Ball comes out, get the ball back in the danger area. Good little flick. Tobin Heath got uh, a little weird celebration. Uh, Tobin Heath got caught a little flat footed there, but this is just Manchester City, the blue team, just not letting Manchester United clear the ball. They get a calf clearance, boom. Ball goes back in the danger area, keeps them under pressure. Yeah, and what a start already. Um, you can see there's so many back in the danger area. Did that goalie spit on our gloves? Yes. Back in the danger area. Try to flick. Cleared it out. Just put it back in the middle. Boom. Good little flick. Back in the danger area. Good try. A little impro improvisation. Back in the danger area. Not, not, not a place where we want to take chances and dribble. Oh, good block. You know what the U.S. Um, women's player on the Manchester United City his name is? I don't know. I didn't see the roster. I don't know exactly if Man City has U.S. players or not. I would assume so. I think um, they have one Manchester United. Manchester United. Have, like, do they have, like, Sammy Mewis? They have, like, Sam Mewis or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. They have another one too, I think. They have a couple more. I think, the, I think there's a couple on. Yeah, I think there's two on both. Please be like England. Yeah, and we talk when we talk about ball striking. This is remember this is 18 yards out, right? So this is probably what a good 22, 23 yards out. Left footed, good strike on goal. Great block by. I mean, this is a brave block by whoever this defender is. Okay, it's not Blake and goal like letting the ball just go by her, right? Right in the stomach. But that's a rocket. 
That's a rocket. Oh yeah, Muse. Okay. Can you replay that? Yep, it'll, it'll, you'll see it a couple times. I'd like you to know I'm working on my goalie skills. Yes, that's good, Blake. <laughs> They're improving slowly. Slowly is good. Yeah. <laughs> Good ball into into the gap, okay? And again, this is where we talk about our forwards. I'll, and I'll let it play after this. But this is where we talk about our forwards wanting to get in a position so that they can win the ball behind the defense and they can win a ball that's played in front of the defending line, okay? And if you watch, they're just going to get the ball. They're just going to get the ball into this space right here. And they expect their center forward to win that ball. Look, she just plays it a little softball in the gap. Back to goal. That's strong. Plays the way she's facing. Good left-footed shot. Great right-footed rip. This is a better angle. Good block. Perfect touch. Perfect touch by... Okay, the ball's getting popped out right now. If she touches the ball here... This defender is going to get up and be able to block it. Notice that her first touch, instead of going directly at goal, her first touch goes out here, away from defenders and setting up her good foot or her, her strong foot, which I can only assume is her strong foot. I'll rewind it a little bit so you can watch from that angle. But just watch her first touch. First touch sets up the goal. Puts it out there. How many times do we get a shot from there? And as soon as that pops to her, she just takes a touch to put it in the direction she needs. There. Yeah, like how, many, how many times, hang on, how many times do we get a shot from there and the ball goes right to the keeper? Okay, this is a great example of, uh, ladies, when I talk to you about using the keeper as a dividing wall, or uh, instead of trying to think of her as a target, try to think of her as a division wall. She's dividing this side of the goal and this side of the goal. And you get your head up and you see the keeper, you don't you don't want to you don't want to think target. You want to think divider, see the keeper, but more importantly, see this space and see this space, and then make a decision on what you which one you're gonna hit. There, and then bang, hits the back of the net. What really good goal. Gets over it, keeps it down, and Ertz has absolutely no chance. What a great goal. Their goalie didn't even go for it. Yeah, I couldn't even move. And I feel like one of um our play well the Manchester United players did it in with their touch they headed it in. Yeah. This is second. This is second half. And again, just notice. Then this is a this is a great far. This is a great angle on a far post run because notice that we we like to start our players together and then have a have a far post bend her run out here. Manchester United just has a girl out there that's starting and her job is to get into the far post area. Okay. And just watch, watch her run. I wish I could play this in slow motion, but I can't. Whoops. Clear all drawings, but just watch her sneak in front of her defender. Boom. Had to be a goal. Just had to get more of a better contact on it. She was going to get her own head on it. Okay, I was talking about Manchester United, the red team's defensive shape when the keeper has the ball. Again, here is the Manchester City shape. They do the same thing. Here's their wide backs and their, or their center backs and their wide backs are out here. And again, you've got the, the trapezoid shape. Certainly a good opportunity there. Oh, that's good pressure by Heath though. Oh, hello. Okay, that's a really good goal. Okay. Forwards. Watch her, right? Watch Tobin and watch her work rate. Okay. Immediate sprint to the ball. Certainly a good opportunity there. But what is she telling the defender right now? For those of you that can see it, what it which direction is she telling the defender that she's gonna she can dribble? 
inside. 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 Yeah, so her body position and everything. Her body position is, is this way. And she, and if you notice, she started here and bent her run to cut off this player and force the play this way. And if you can do that, that makes it very predictable for all your teammates. It makes it very predictable on where the ball is going to go. Mark. Okay. Yes. Um, can I leave and watch it later? Because mine's just a complete black screen. You can do that. If, you're, if you don't think you're getting anything out of listening, then yes, you can do that. Because you're going to hear it again. Okay. Um, force it to the inside. Another good pressure. Forces a giveaway. Yes, rockets the ball. Not even, no ball control, right? Or no, uh, not even a control touch. First time, head up, head down, hammers the ball. And I know I've talked to a number of you guys about hitting the ball with some conviction and some passion and some purpose. This is a great example. Forces are inside. Really good goal. It just, it started with her work rate. It started with her work rate as a forward. Wide players turning inside, trying to take their defenders on. Receiving the ball wide, but immediately attacking defenders. Charge onto that and was foul. Yeah, okay, that's not a good foul. Again, when you have a defender, and I know I've talked to a number of you, the, uh, uh, number of you guys about patience on defense. When you have an attacker running this way, you don't need to win the ball. You make a bad challenge and tweet, you got to back up 10 yards and they get free kicks in dangerous positions. Don't, Manchester 17 doesn't need to slide there. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't need to do that. Strongly suggests she's a better player in the air than Haley Lack. She made the early run, Horton. It was aimed in towards her. It's a good header away by Millie Turner. That's who they were aiming at, though, Steph Horton. But a good Manchester derby. It should be cleared away. It wasn't Kelly gets good ball. to bronze. Stanway took a touch. Should almost. Play. That was almost Sent a really nice goal. Kelly but notice the ball in. This ball, first time ball across the six yard box. You heard me talk about that a lot last year. And I'll say it one more time for the girls that weren't here last year. When we talk about the six yard box, that's the box that's, that's six yards away from goal. And a lot of times we want to try to serve that ball to the top of the box. And this is exactly, exactly what happened here. First time across the six yard box. And we do that a lot because we, we it's tough for the keeper to come out that far sometimes. And, and there, it can lead to some indecision from the keepers. Doesn't quite sloppy here by Galton. Again, that's sometimes when you've got a forward player playing those deeper defensive. Good try on the volley. Just need to let it drop a little bit longer. Another corner, another set piece. Really brave block by the defenders. Manchester United, it was Millie Turner with the shot that was blocked. It just comes in, I think. City get Good first time shot. It, but yeah, it just drops through, doesn't it? She knows she just needed to try and steer it past those bodies, but it's Mewis Big block. It with her thigh. Big long Sam Mewis leg came out. Just watch out for Millie Turner. If she can try and find some space here. She has done. She stepped out. Another good service. It's loose inside that six on a rubber. Brilliant save, but it's forced in. And Manchester United have completed the comeback. Forced in from close range. And what a half time substitution it was. Is that 2 2 or is that 2 1? 2 2. And I think she's I think, a, I think she's the sniffer. All right. And when we talk about heard me talk about it before, how we want our sniffer to be active. Yeah, 18 is a sniffer. Yeah. He's right on the keeper right now. And now she's acting. Quick little, quick little just that's all pure reflex. Stopping City from playing out on that left side, and now she steps up and she's a little happy too. Not the flicker of a smile on the face of Casey Stoney, the Manchester United coach. 
across at the uh, City of Manchester Stadium. Uh, he had by a uh, goal to nil last season. Caroline Weir, who's on the ball, scored that goal. Well, nearly on the ball. Couldn't quite get, but here's Greenwood. Stokes. It's a fine strike, wasn't it, with her left foot from distance? Really opened up the league. <laughs> 31,213 saw it. WSL record. It's fine for the keeper. Not much time left. Get the ball in danger. Game in the UK. And it is growing at a huge rate. Here's Weir now to pressurize the United defense. Turner slapped it into the face of Kelly. Newis, a nice touch again. And again, if you can see, there's 93 minutes. So there's like 30 seconds left in this game. I think Manchester City here, yeah, they decide to go backwards a lot. If we don't have a lot of time in a game, I wouldn't, I wouldn't prefer us to play safe. Instead of going back, let's just let's just do what we can. Be dangerous. Yeah, get the ball in here. Just get the ball in the danger area and, and see what can happen. We keep going back, and again, sometimes, like you know we say a lot, sometimes to go forward, you have to go backward. But late in the game, let's just try to get the ball up. Okay, so that's those are the highlights that I wanted to go over in that half hour. 